and as we get started, I just want to remind everyone, my name is Ask Joshi. Casting with me is Dr. No. We have not cast together before, but I got to say, you're doing a great job. I've definitely had worse first time, you know, <laughs> co-casters, and uh, huge props to Phil as he is our observer for the day, and he has this very pretty overlay for us to use where I was just kind of winging it on XSplit earlier. But as we get started running up mid, you can see the pistols flying and no connections yet. Nobody hit a shot there. Yeah, I think I think we just got a heal that tagged up, but no armor, so it doesn't even have to worry about that. Flying up the ropes room. They're in heaven. They're out hard. And starting things off, T-Sack's going to open up the first frag Whoop. here. Dawn with the second one soon to follow. As t sac going to be finding that one dropping out of heaven and onto the floor. Need more DM or in a dire spot right now. t sac four kills. Ghost. Headshot. 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 Starting it off on the right foot for the defenders. Excellent stop at A site. And the same thing happened what last game you? where we talked about the pistol round is usually A heavy. This time the attackers fed right into it and t -Sack on the Cypher just destroyed them. Now you can see the cash difference, the gun difference. Huge advantage here for the defenders. Definitely looking clinical on the ghost headshots there in t -Sack. Holding down holding down sight from like on. actually being on the a site you need to be able to hit shots like that when need more dm is storming the castle in that way and for now they're hopefully putting a check on it and it's fun to see two teams that are willing to play that aggressively on a pistol round time and time again this is a heavy b push but all through mid which is incredibly dangerous they do have the gun advantage though and that is going to show itself foda doesn't even need the stronger gun, actually the attacker, uh, popping the defender with the stronger gun. Barcode finding Ooh. another pistol kill. Very surprising here. And the attackers all still standing. Coldamenta knows there's a player at default but cannot see anyone else. And he's just going to get shot at blindly. Still finds a kill. Yeah, trying to use this smoke to his advantage. Swinging around here. Gonna find two. That's going to be hard. It's flying on in. Maybe a little bit over aggressive, but now that they know there's both players found wow. <laughs> out here. Yeah, the synchronized peak. Good stuff from the side of SW as they're going to be able to clean up that round. And that's an easy defuse. Plenty of time still. Defenders win. Might he upgrade his gun? Goes for the Ghost Spectre. I like it. It's still strong there for the defenders and the early pistol kills actually scared me there i thought project sw were starting to collapse a little bit but again uh t -Sack actually just incredibly strong start here two to zero for project sw and the money difference kind of disappears a little bit here in this third round usually uh the people who lose the pistol round will have their ars by now so do expect uh, a stronger offense this time this goes here Right, and the last time we saw this scenario, Project SW kind of held on to their SMGs because even if you lose, you're not breaking the bank. And unfortunately, Kagasi could actually be losing the op that he purchased. That was kind of their investment into this round. Gets knocked down there while trying to play around the smoke positioning. Mid control, going the way of need more DM for now. And Sage, all on his lonesome here, 3v1 situation, uh, does duck out into the ropes room. And this is what we mentioned last game, retreat, because you don't want to just get rolled over when you could just be entrenched instead and watch that rope exit. And you can see Omen, <laughs> Omen abilities just flying left and right, attack and defense. Uh, B Heaven is now the spot and Cypher's all alone. He's going to get absolutely swarmed. Uh, Ray's hardest, not hardest, yeah, Ray's actually hardest, excuse me, uh, gets jostled by by the sage wall actually launched him upward and he was unable to get any shots there crazy deer takes him down suddenly only two players remaining there is an operator in hand as well as a bulldog so probably going to attempt to save that in a tough situation here attackers need more dm getting on the board right it's around you can kind of you can kind of toss away unfortunate that you had to lose so many members for it but project sw should have enough in their bank accounts that they can afford to match rifles for rifles in the next round need more dm getting this win and should just be able to safely back out it doesn't even look like sw are going to try and contest for any exit frags they got the op they got everything they wanted might as well just accept that and take your take your uh take your winnings and cash out 
There's the explosion. No one taken down by that, of course. Everyone's safely away. I do want to point out the increased skill level of the players we're seeing right now compared to the cups I was casting even a month ago. Uh, I feel like everyone is just so capable of just shredding through people, especially <laughs> on Project SW. Last game, we saw pretty much everybody have their moment in the sun there. Uh, hardest with the multiple frag kills and showstoppers and bounce kills. Uh, Dawn actually just saving rounds with multi kills time and time again. Kagasi. Uh, very very skilled with the op did get himself another op here for round four hanging out at garage right and speaking of the buys i was a little bit mistaken project sw's bank accounts not quite as clean as you might like and baiting hardest trying to see if you can get the shot from gagasi out hardest being the one to answer in there just throwing shots out but gagasi gonna find foda trying to just be a little bit more aggressive than he is due. Still running straight up mid, linebacker style. There's a lot of enemies right in front of him, but he can't know it until the smoke clears. It's a trade as they continue on toward A. Cypher backing up toward the back of heaven there. Now in a 3v1, but still snags two, maybe three kills. T-Sac, excellent stop there. Uh, definitely shutting them down. And now it's solo jet, not gonna go oh, no. anywhere. Easy cleanup not, for the defenders. Yeah, that's not the smoke you want to be face checking if you are a, if you are pushing up there and yeah, like you mentioned, uh, that was definitely T Sac with such a good double frag there just to be able to stop the aggression. You don't let them pour out of heaven. You make them have to answer you before they can push out. Your team gets to rotate in and he's gonna find himself seven and two so far. Strong play from TSAC. Doubles around the board for him, but uh, Barcode, Crazy Deer, etc., topping their team here. The entry frags are just not coming to them. Last time it was uh, the Jet on defense opening things up, but Foda, Solo Garage, just trying to scout out. Cypher is going to lock that site down by himself. Very, very capable of doing so with the trips and traps. Uh, we do see a sight line. I'm actually Shadow looking at Jet Shadow. on a ramp is in an interesting spot, but they don't have the spike over there. They have, there's, they've got a control, but they don't have the spike. So this is kind of an awkward spot for them. Right, and with no mid awareness just yet, you can't quite push out because you know that ropes is still a danger to you. It's a great position to be in to have full control of ramp and have the option to push out into heaven, but for now, need more DM are biding their time. It looks like an omen push here. Making his way into the smoke, gets spotted out, and that's gonna be the time for Dawn to be falling there. Foda pushing up here as well. Barcode is just Ooh. lurking in heaven for now. Oh, this is the shot, and Gagashi's gonna answer with one of his own. The two for two so far, and <laughs> the showstopper's gonna find one. Hard is gonna find another. Pick up that op and looking to clean up this round. Man, if he hit that op shot, that would have been the cleanest one, two, three. Three different weapons, but unfortunate miss. The defenders still win the round. Cold Amenta cleaning things up there, and two players survive. Four to one. Project SW actually looking to run away with this potentially. In the previous game, Project SW had something, it was like a 7 5 attack round so if they're doing this strong on defense i'm worried about need more dm already we'll see if they can clean things up but they only have pistols in tow right now you got to imagine yeah bulldogs smgs something gonna get purchased here yeah and from the position that project sw is in way. just in terms of econ we're seeing a little bit of a repeat performance this time it started on the defense side where they're able to rack up a lot of early rounds build up that eco in the bank for themselves. And for now, it's going to be slow and steady push into this mid lane. Not gonna get spotted out. Oh, did he? I believe he might've gotten seen there. He throws out the paint shell, but ropes control in the favor of need more DM as barcode is just hunting. See if he finds anyone here. <laughs> Cold immense actually could be in trouble, but Omen is there watching the rope. Dawn, I believe. And we've seen him do this before. Yeah, this yep. is gonna be the push here. <laughs> gonna be found out. Dawn with a quick double kill. I might have been a collat there. Finding two there, but an immediate res is gonna be popped out. T-Sac 
trying to find his frags out. He's uh, again in the position where he must hold his ground on sight, but Cole Demente is the one who's finding a great little flank there. Barcoder hunting him down, gonna knock him down with a right click. On three left there, not gonna be enough knives to take down Hardest. He's gonna put him down and stop a, what could have been an explosive round for Need More DM. That was one of the hottest starts they had, but still could not make it work in the end. Dawn with the two for one. He just stares at the ropes and gets two. <laughs> like, it's that easy. <laughs> um, but need more DM. Again, they were on the uh, lower hand. <laughs> they did not have the upper hand. I don't know how to say that. They were at a disadvantage with their guns. Now they actually have uh, some phantoms and things like that to contend. So it, they were at a bit of disadvantage. Still almost got the round. Still in this game. Nice start there. Yeah, and that's Barcoder starting things off. So many say, or jet op shots to start things off, but Foda's looking to get real spicy with it. That's gonna whip Whoa. out. Gonna get a lot of damage. Ooh, a nice little shot there. Headshot. Gonna be ringing in to, on the raise to the raise. Now, site control is there, but they can't commit to the plant just yet. That's gonna be a big flank from I'm Hussar. As he's flanking up there, Dawn trading one back. Oh, no. They know they lost heaven control, so the fight for the site is going to be everything. So right now, need more DM. It's a 4v1. That's going to be Cole Dementa picking up that last kill and ultimately a fairly clean win for need more DM. And that will actually get them back in the game slightly. They lost three in mm -hmm. a row, stopped the bleeding. You know, they had their ARs finally, so able to match firepower and were able to take it down. So again, still a winnable position. Five rounds, uh, you know, as many as Need More DM can get. Obviously, they don't, they don't want to enter the half at a huge disadvantage, but Barcoder uh, did hit the op shot to start the round, and we'll see if he's capable of doing it again, as no one on the defense is actually strapped with the op this time. Sage is going to be holding mid solo with the wall play. So the attackers actually still in market. Did you see the defenders at B pushed all the way into garage and didn't see anybody? So they're doing a hard rotate A, even though that might not actually be the play. Yeah, it was a it's a bit of a hard call out to be dishing out right now, but sometimes reads can pay dividends as barcoder. Nice little jump there. We'll find an okay position, but T-Sack's going to be seeing him already pinged out and communicated there he's gonna see one yeah. more crossing up to the ramp the ramp control in the favor of need more dm but barcode is not gonna find no his opening to... shot here <laughs> Ooh. swings out there just barely misses and almost sends one through the wall at him so they're just gonna back away continuing to just try and hold their ground he's actually gonna be the one to open this up just honestly a super strong site player as two more kills are going to be found out there. Kagasi almost with a spray transfer, but Cold Dement is going to be picking up his end of the slack. Very strong round there. T-Sack again with the double. 6-2 to two score line. They are looking very strong here, T-Sack, with 10 kills already under his belt. Kagasi also scoring a nice kill there during that mayhem. Lots of uh, frantic, you know, once the grenades start flying, it's hard to keep track of all these kills, but Kagasi did get in the mix there. And I don't know what the attackers can do this time. That one actually probably should have gone their way. They still flooded into A despite having B sort of cleared out, but they couldn't have known that because they were so heavy in mid and not garage. Barcoder starts them off with a quick kill. Yeah, and immediately backing off of that one. That's a great way to start this off, but that was a similar story to the last round and it didn't pay off in the end. See if he can delay it there. Pushes, jumps up onto the box. He's going to force Kagasi back as a slow orb will mean he can't issue any challenges here. Will t be able to hold on to sight? One for one, but just trading back and forth. The Neural Theft is going to go off so he can get a bit of information. They know Kagasi's still in heaven and Cold Immens is playing back there with him. We'll see how they're going to be able to execute to try and get a retake in this 2v2. No one's actually planted Spike yet, and... Uh, Kagasi does have the op still equipped, tosses out the smoke there at a bit of an angle. Still no plant. I mean, I'm not sure if they're going to... Yeah, really, there's no reason for the defense to even mess with them until the plant is happening. So, defense in an okay Right, and position. they're going on a long flank. I'm looking at that Sage coming in through B main here. They should know that enough time has passed for him to be going there, but they haven't set up any tripwires. They might not know, and he might be able to get a good opening frag... 
You will try and find it. Oh, oh God, he's gonna be face checking here. The ult is going to come out, so it's still a 2v2, but Barkov's nice, gonna start this one off. Misses that shot there. Coldamenta is gonna be finding that one. As here comes the showstopper. He's hunting. He's in he's hell. Looking. He got it. Look at that. Hey, there it is. As Hardis is gonna be able to pull that one back. A good res. And honestly, Project SW just had better ult ecos. Just four ults, I think, going into this round. And you might as well use them because they're only going to be as good as the rounds that they win. Very strong stuff there. Excellent presence of mind to get that res while Jet was tied up in the CT area. The headshot from Sage after resing was actually super important because the op did miss. Uh, so they were able to get that man advantage and finally eventually defuse so excellent plays all around once again you can see it reflected here in the score line seven to two they got tons of uh guns versus the attackers Get now back on way. pistols so i do expect to see an eight two it's really tough to break through that kind of defense with pistols right and we'll see if they're going to be able to because the rounds are starting to count down you're on nine rounds there's only so many left so before the half time you want to be able to spend the money you have Oh, Gossy, once again. It's it's Jet Op versus Jet Op, and both of them just seem to be finding frags to open up each of these rounds. We'll see if Hardest he able knows, to just hold knows Sage is in there, <laughs> but didn't really connect. Yeah, there's a decent amount of room to be backing up into there, so he's able to stay safe. But Coldamenta and Kagasi opening up once again before fights are really starting. This crazy deer is going to get traded out there. A couple blast packs thrown over. Photo's at about half HP, so a little bit hard for him to be challenging <laughs> here. He's going to swing twice. They're going to go down to Dawn in the end. Sun going down on need more DM's chances in that round. And as it's going 8-2, to two, Project SW are looking like the team to beat. Top frag sage, no big deal. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can see Kagasi actually was you know, really in a good position there. Nearly got that second op shot as well, uh, but did fall. Keeps getting the op back though. They got plenty of cash. They win three rounds in a row here. And finally attackers are back on even footing. They got a single op for the offense. ARs all around. It looks like it's gonna be a full 5A. Oh, Ooh. wow. Wow, that Ooh. was a risky shot. Nearly paid off, but did not. And now the showstopper already be pulled out before you even know if there's defense there. I can't agree with that, unfortunately. But t -Sack again, grabbing two before he goes down. Yeah, and it was sort of just a read on t -Sack being there, but that's such a gamble for your ultimate. And t -Sack was still able to find two before he goes down. He has just been... There's such a wall that they have to hurdle as Dawn's gonna find another frag here. Trying to pour out of heaven as Goldimenta's gonna trade that on the underside. Pushing forward here, the battle around the smoke. Goldimenta's looking to hold that one down for him. It's Kagasi's gonna be the one to pick up that kill in the end. And this is entering demoralization territory here for Need More DM. They won something like five game, four or five games to get here, and now they're getting really kind of slapped around. Uh, Two players surviving there, Kagasi and Coldamenta. t -Sack again with a double. Just always good for those doubles. Right, and it's kind of felt like me and more DM are struggling to sort of find a good foothold. And it's it's a little bit interesting to talk about like something like a team fight in Valorant, but a lot of these times, you know, it's been either on either side, one kill starts things off. But so many of these kills are just so disconnected from being able to be traded back. Need more DM are just kind of in a bit of struggle to answer every kill that Project SW finds before things start off. And it's going to be Taijin starting things off at the beginning here. All right, a little bit of upper hand for attackers. Finally, they gain, you know, a little bit of ground. And mid is still where the action is. All the abilities flying out now. Foda lying in wait here at the garage, still on the attacking side. Omen just hanging tight uh, in B Heaven. Doesn't actually need to move until he sees something happen, but is going to be four, forcing their way through garage soon. I do expect uh, to see a wall go up to try to aid their exit. Jet's going to be the first out. And Dawn grabs two instantly. I know exactly. Wow. Is, oh my <laughs> god. It's over. There wasn't even enough time to say anything. It's just <laughs> dismantled.
Yeah, they uh, they were fish in a barrel there. They were, they were uh, agents in a garage for that one. Um, Don popped two of them, and it looked like a Kalat. There was the Kalat symbol. I'm not sure if it was a wall or a player, but it was pretty instantaneous, so I got to imagine he scooped the, the double kill on that one. But 10-2 to two now. Five rounds in a row successfully here as we flip sides toward the next pistol round, and Project SW won both pistol rounds in their previous match as well. Yeah, indeed, more DM are going to need more of something if they're going to try and pull this one back now on the opposite side. So we'll see. Maybe they're just heavy CT side players and they're going to be able <laughs> to make something happen here. There's an old joke that we used to say of what what side is this map? It's whatever side we're not on. And for need yeah. more DM, you're hoping that's going to ring true as gonna get swung on here. Taijin trying to find a little extra damage. Barcoder's in a oh! great position. Gotta find two there before he can smoke himself off and get the safety. Don got him asleep at the wheel. What? Well, Barcoder gonna find another one through the smoke. He's getting what? aggressive. He's feeling himself. 4K starting Hunt things him. off here. He give him the <laughs> ace. You know you want it. He's going hunting. He's entering the sewers. Cypher does spot him. He knows where t -Sack is now. We have our ace potential, but nope, Crazy Aww. Deer gonna shut that down. You gotta get the round when you can, man. You're down 10 to 2. Totally understandable, but Jet popping off. Barcoder, uh, head, head and shoulders above his teammates there when it comes to the frags, although four of those 15 were in the last round with the pistol. Uh, that one through the smoke was, uh, that was spicy. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was definitely a good find, and then holding it holding his composure to get the kill onto Cold Amenta afterwards. This is, I think definitely when you're looking at the score line of this game, you see 10 to three and you think, wow, this is kind of a blow up. But I think both of these teams are just such hot fire aggression teams. They go all the way out and barcoder once again, starting things off. It's just gonna be a witch flame burns brighter. And right now, Crazy Deer seems to be turning up the heat here as Don can't even try to peek him with 53 HP. Right click's not gonna <laughs> land there. And another just the, complete blowout round the coming out from the more DM. All one route, it's not good. <laughs> like you're getting mowed down. It happened when, uh, Project SW were on defense. They just flattened that garage push. This time, the exact same thing happened. You had four people trying to press their way through the A orb spot, and that was just an SMG, just killing three people in two seconds because everyone's in the same spot. So uh, now you see them actually, of course, reacting to that, splitting up quite a bit. Omen keeping the spike through sewers. Could be a B split here. Ray's trying to keep that op angle, but Cypher is all the way entrenched, so not going to run into anyone just yet. They're going to do the old long-range peak battle here. I am Hussar backing off, but only as a Spectre. Doesn't even have an AR to deal with these garage players. So after that cage expires, he is going to be uh, needing to hit some headshots here. <laughs> that he will, and... They have a decent amount of room to get up into mid and enough smokes to work with that they can kind of go either way. The wall gonna delay them a bit for now. Not As we crest bad. the minute clock left to count down, still just trying to pressure their way into mid lane. A lot of noise being made, but yeah, nothing given away just yet. All right, T-Sack, usually good for a double. We'll see if he can spot out any defenders. They are taking their time, um, pressing forward here. Garage could have a movement. They just tossed the smoke. I'm not sure if he's going to try to dash through it. Looks like he actually backed off, so Hardest just holding that angle does get lit. Down to like 10 HP, something like that. But A Sewers is actually where the action is. So this served as a distraction. The jet smoke, the hardest uh, return fire, and now A is looking soft, but the op is still there. Double kill for Barco. Yeah, and this is sort of an awkward scenario that need more DM are in. 10 seconds on the clock. They aren't even going to be able to get to the site. This crazy deer is going to find Dawn. That's going to be bombed down. You can't push out against this team as the smokes are just going to make it a little bit too difficult, saving from hardest here. And this was just sort of a really awkward round for Project SW. They pushed up into mid, and then they put the they put the Sage Wall on the rope side, which I think they were maybe trying to bait into seeing if they could get need more DM to bite that they were going to be, and they were trying to wall that off. But in the wake of it, it sort of came back to Project S... Or it, 
came back to Project SW kind of just getting all of this mid pressure, not doing anything with it. And by the time you're transferring back to B, Needmore DM have already taken enough ground that it's way too difficult to push in with 30 seconds on the clock. And if if they did, in fact, you know, wall the ropes room and then head back through sewer, it was really Cypher's presence on B that let them know, hey, they still haven't come in to B. Like, I, mm -hmm. I shot a raise a bunch of times and she disappeared. So, uh, they, <laughs> yeah, she, they she headed for the hills. Oh, hold on, we have Cold Amenta and the rest of Project SW is saying, all right, time to put the pedal to the metal and send it here. Foda's got to find one. Taijin's got to find another one. As, oh, yeah, over. no guns, no real chance in that one. A flawless coming out from Need More DM. Five up, five down. That's four successful defends in a row. And Project SW... Uh, running out of money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is where you start calling, you start calling home and saying, Hey, uh, Ma, I have an, I need a little money for this semester. Uh, would you be able to Books possibly expensive. send me some? Okay. 10 to six project SW. They won five in a row and then lost four in a row after flipping sides. So complete momentum shift here. Need more DM, uh, barcoder specifically with that op actually doing a phenomenal job. And there's another one starting us off at garage. It's a full five garage, which we've seen this fail before. So uh, let's see what they do differently to try and make it work Ooh. this time. Almost goes op for op with him, but good to just dash out of that one. When you're recognizing how many people are there, like you mentioned, just better to back up. You got one kill already. You've already kind of stunted Project, Project SW here. There's no sense in just over committing to try and ego challenge that. So now, Project SW back into the mid lane, trying to probe for information here. Once again, it's the three on B side, two on A side coming out from Need More DM. And Project SW struggling after, you know, 4v5 start. Uh, they are trying to push into B Heaven, but there's three people on B, so they are going to just get stared down. Lots of equipment being thrown out there. Easy kill into the cage, so ties things up. Dawn, responsible for that one. Get out of my they way. don't know where Cypher is, I'm assuming, or else someone would have jumped in by now. Yeah, a couple shots ringing out through that smoke will give him enough information. There's a lot of people on the other side of this smoke as Kagasi's going to find one to keep things going along here. 4v3 as they're going to push forward. Knives are out from Barcoder. It's a great tool to help try and push in here, and we'll see if Need More DM are going to be able to execute. Has an off lurking there. Misses the shot, though. He's going to get aggressive on him, but Kagasi's going to recover in time as Dawn finding one more on I'm, a, I'm Hussar. Now, this is a hard situation for Need More DM. You have one member left. Are you even going to try in here? Might be just going for a late defuse, but I don't think he's going to get the opportunity. Finds a kill onto t -Sack. Smoke goes down. He's going to try and stick it. Will they be able to get into the smoke in time? Rounds are ringing out, but that's going to be Cold Dementa finding that kill. Project SW finally clawing one back here. Yeah, they break their lost streak of, you know, four rounds in a row and get a successful attack. It started off still uh, pretty tough for them, but they were able to get everyone onto site, force Cypher back into that CT area and the cage. Uh, set up from the offensive Cypher actually help them maintain their advantage. So. A uh, couple of good kills across the board. Kagasi got in there as well. Dawn as well. So 11 to 6 now. Only two rounds away from just getting into the finals. They've been hitting a brick wall of opposition here. But again, a full five garage. And Cypher does not have his trips and traps here. So Raze is going to test the water and not get any return fire. However, there is the enemy Raze now in heaven. Hanging out. Spying the exit. We're going to get action. Bronson here, Hardest Zero, trying <laughs> to get some kills with the Showstopper. Does not get it, but does get the follow-up. Yeah, is able to clean that one up in the end, and they will be able to get bombed down off of that. Project SW in an okay spot to try and re try and hold on to this one. We'll need more DM. Man down with a retake in front of them. Hardest in a great position to lurk around here. Kagasi finding the first one to keep this fight going. Dawn going to trade that one back. Foda standing no chance. The heaven domination from Project SW. Not allowing Need More DM to fight at their way out of that one as Barcode is gonna get his friend or his uh friendly kill there. We're gonna trade one back over as pushing out of heaven just a little bit too eagerly. 
but okay. likely won't be seeing much more action in this round. It looks like Project SW are already on their way out of sight and need more DM holding onto their money because now you're staring down the barrel of match point and you're going to need every gun you can get your hands on. Exactly right. I was just going to make that point where it's going to be 12 points now for Project SW. They really massacred need more DM on the defense side. Uh, mm -hmm. It was... Um, 10-2? <laughs> yeah, it was 10-2 at the half. Need more DM have been doing a great job on defense up until these last two rounds. So now that we're in match point, Project SW has two rounds in a row. They figured it out a little bit. They did force five in garage a lot. I don't think they're going to do it again. I think they're going to do a split. As you can see here, the spike is relatively A side, but there's only one defender on A. We know that. They don't know that. Mid is actually being heavily stacked, but that's because they do have the ability, as you can see, Jet uh, moving over to the ramp quickly. And Barcoder has been a monster with the op. I don't know if Jet actually has the op. Yes, it does look that way. Yeah, it is an off versus off. He's off and off. I was going to say on and off angle. That's going to win the fight for Kagasi. Not expecting him to be there, but Crazy Deer going to be traded back out. Cold Menta reviving T Stack here. They want to put an end to this one, and they have some ults to do it. It's a 5v3. Neural Theft going down. That might be enough information for Project SW. Need more DM are going to need a clutch oh. opportunity. It's two kills ringing back out. 4v2, tough situation. Spike already planted. Hardest on the attack does run into the enemy raise. Foda under 50% health here. Sage still on the ramp does heal him back up. 3v2 situation. Spike already planted though, so the attackers can hold still. There's a showstopper, but does he know where anyone is? He's gonna find one. Owen, no chance to survive there, but Kagasi with the triple. Pink grenade going into the back, going for the defuse. It's gonna be on Kagasi. I'm not sure where the attacking Sage is. Actually up in heaven, and it's Kagasi with four kills. Jet ultimate to lock it down. 13 to six is your final score. Kagasi. Fantastic finish there. I don't know if I can call him MVP, but the entire team stepped up and they really walloped them on defense, finally got their act together on offense and just cleaned them out. Look how even those kills are actually. 15, 15, 13, 14, 10. Excellent stuff there from Project SW. They will move on into the finals and congrats to, um, uh, uh, I already forgot the name. Oh no, need more DM. Need more DM need more for DM. making it this far. I do hope to see more out of them in the future, uh, but you can see their barcoder really a strong uh, player for